Oh wow, it's seven already. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? We're here. Are we on the right account? Yes. 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 <sighs> Captain's chair. Just fucking brag about it. That's, I don't get to sit over here very often. Never. Once a year. Uh, anyways, welcome. Welcome back for some of you. We were just on minutes ago. <clears throat> Got the GoPro Exciting. going. Uh, hopefully it won't overheat this time. Probably. If you didn't watch the intro, you didn't miss anything. We talked about some events we're doing and stuff like that. So if you want to see that just terrific, engaging content, go over to my page. It's all about And Eric. if you don't, don't do that. Tonight, we are tying a prom dress. Big, flashy son of a bitch. What type of Perdigon are you tying? Who you know, number one. I can't wait till that hits the steelhead world and people start tying steel them on Steelhead like, Perdigons? Yeah, it's steelhead wow. size. Uh, <clears throat> like fishing jigs on a Euro rod. Yeah, well, no. Well, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like just <laughs> no. like, or just a regular eight weight. Uh, I ran out of egg patterns, so I figured I'd do a uh, prom dress. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> that's it. That's all I got. This is gonna be... No, fun. no, 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 no. Uh, I was bored one day and I have a bunch of books and I have uh, Bill Herzog uh, wrote a book about fishing spoons that's akin to like Deck Hogan's book or Trey Combs or Bill McMillan's. And Do you have that uh, book? Which ones? I have all those. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And which ones have you read? All of them. You read, I read you pretty read, fast. You read the intro, the introduction. Yeah, yeah I read the foreword and I consider it done. And then the back, the last page. Yeah, the index. Like, yeah. It, yeah. And then I'm done. Cool. I have a pretty good idea of what I it was. I can tell from the knowledge that you've read it multiple times. <clears throat> How long could it possibly take to tie this thing? Not We're much. We're going to find out tonight. Yeah. Well, actually, I have to kill a ton of time because they go really quick. Well, you could tie I could them. do a couple, you know? I could do yeah. that. Look Anyways, this guy take initiative. They're uh, tied normally on shanks. So, uh, <clears throat> and that's because Scott Howe, the creator or designer? Originator. Originator? Which one of the three? The one I said. Sure, bud. Uh, Scott Howe developed this pattern. Um, fishes a lot in the winter on the North Umqua. Um, Umqua? He uses bullet head weights, though. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, I think probably he's past that now. But mm, that's maybe, something maybe. you could put on in front of these. It drops down the fishes. Not in our local rivers. You'd be on the bottom the whole time. But if you See. fish the Umqua in the winter, pretty <clears throat> ledgy and deep in pockets. Maybe stuff on the coast. I don't know. I don't fish the coast. Of course. Uh, but yeah, super quick. It's a guide die kind of thing. Um, you could do it with three materials, basically. Uh, I'll be doing it on a tube because we don't really fish shanks. I guess if you really wanted to <clears throat> make it extra heavy, you could put like two of those large tungsten raw weights right there, tie the fly, and then end it with a cone. I mean, it, that would be some serious chuck and duckage going on. Yeah, it wouldn't be very um, fun to wouldn't fish. Wouldn't be very fun to fish, but um, it's going to get down. Yeah. Not really my MO for winter <clears throat> steelheading. Uh, I usually don't try to fish anything deeper than max eight feet, but yeah. that three to five is kind of a sweet spot. Yeah, let the tip do all the work. I don't want that fucking, like like fishing one of those squid rows. I fished that Dude. my first year. Woof. Um, Steel heading, and I was like, "This fucking sucks." Yeah, it's and a lot I of work. Sucked. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and so, it's like if you if you stop anywhere or slow down or do anything, it's like, nope, you fucked yeah, it up. Yeah. Well, if you stop anywhere on a spot, <clears throat> you're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, but more so. Anyways, <laughs> what do you got there? GSP thread. Yeah. Okay. Got thread. Any thread will do. Who cares? All right. And uh, oh boy, I have Get some. Here we go. Salar? Mm -hmm. Salar. 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 Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, this um, guy didn't see the, the, the <clears throat> intro on my page. He's like, oh shit, Colby on the Vice. Yes, we covered this. Colby's on the Vice. He's like, I'm going to tie next week. And I was like, <laughs> can't fucking wait. Knock yourself out, bud. Mm -hmm. So I just get to sit here and chill. 
it's nice it's actually pretty nice you laugh occasionally you say some dumb shit and then like that's it you're done okay but uh yeah tinsel body um you could use mylar you could use whatever why you not have the tinsel it. all the way back to the rear of the tube is there a point of that no point okay yeah no point how are the comments coming uh negative zero somebody says i'm out of here the other person said i hate my life I don't remember commenting. Yeah. Well, I hate having a place. <clears throat> We're not going to be away. here for seven hours just because this fly could probably take you about seven minutes, but you never know. Um, it's true. If he ties in uh, times 10 speed, we might be able to tie two. We're going to just kind of feel it out probably. and see how it goes. I can get two in. I think so. Depends on how much talky talky I want to do. <sighs> Hopefully not a lot. Hopefully not a lot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> looks great. Yeah, it really. I don't think it fucking matters personally. I really don't think that the the, the wrap of the body. Mm, that's what is not gonna fucking matter. No, that's why they're eating it. One hundred percent. Guaranteed. Um, I mean, fuck, <clears throat> it's covered with that much flash. Like you can't even see nah, the fucking you, you body. See, like it's not. It sits in there. Doesn't matter. Um. Anyways, what does matter is that you have like a. Uh, uh, like a dubbing ball. Um, shoulder? Yeah, a shoulder. Okay. Well, the ball and then the shoulder. Oh, you do a ball and a shoulder? You could. Okay. Uh, how does it with bear? You keep saying bear. Are you talking about grizzly bear? I think it's polar bear. I think it's dyed polar bear. But yeah. he just literally says, use good bear. During the video. Like, good that's bear. all it says. Yeah, good, use good bear. Like, use probably, quality bear. Probably polar bear. Probably. It was pink. So, there's that. Anyways, I use the Estaz. Oh, yeah. What? I'm just saying, oh, hell yeah. Somebody was talking about checking some of those for bluefin. Yeah, they'd probably eat that shit. Oh, that would be interesting. Mm-hmm. I reckon they would. But, <clears throat> I do a couple wraps of this instead of a dubbing ball. Uh -huh. God, that's what is that? No, Everything you own has a ton of Zappa It's like a little... Jesus. Mouth. It's a crater. Yeah. Yeah. That's huh. good. Remember when you got Zappa Gap all over your fucking telephone? My telephone? Cell what, phone. My Cell phone. <laughs> what, my rotary phone? That yeah. I yeah, yeah. House? You remember that? Yeah. No, I do remember pouring it all over my cell phone. That was great. Yeah. I did um, clean it up, though. I don't know how. I don't know how I got it all up there, but I did. Uh, you panically washed it in the sink. Well, then it got some of it off, and then that like kind of <clears> dried, and I used that um, Gooby Gone and a razor blade. <laughs> that works. It did. So, pro tip right there, if you ever spill an entire um, thing is bottle of Zappa Gap on your cell phone. On your screen of your cell phone. Try to wash most of it off. Oh, you got Trey works. Combs' book right there. See other fly fishing and flies. Oh, That's cool. Somebody gave that to Look me. Look at you. Is that your one book? Well, there's four in front of you. I can't count. Uh, after you've got one, a nice little two, ball going, three, you're going to use um, a brush to make the shoulder. Again, Scott Howell on his original pattern does a uh, dubbing loop. Of good bear. Of quality good bear. Okay. I'm learning a lot here right now. Yeah, bear, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Bear with me. Oh, my God. No more puns. It's puns. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of this either. We'll probably do like two wraps. All about them brushes, though. I do love big, a brush. Big fan. Steelhead, musky, bass. It just makes it so easy to Very. make a big shoulder, and it's got flash in there and some EP stuff. And if you tie it down good, it ain't. It's not coming apart. <clears throat> it's not. Nothing's coming out. Yeah, it never collapses like a dummy ball or. Where's your bad scissors? Fuck, they're in my Are they? Thing. I wonder if I can use these. I use these. I don't want to ruin my good scissors. And, um, yeah, if you do it like a dubbing loop or a composite loop or whatever, don't get me started. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck your composite loops. If, you know, the steel had got toothy critter and stuff, so <clears throat> if they nick that thread, your whole composite loop's going to come undone. I guess you could, uh, you know, zap a gap it or something like that, so it, it kind of locks it in, but wire... Wire's not going anywhere. It's not um, not Jeremiah, out. we're filming on my phone, so that text message that you just sent, I can't see it. I so saw it. Fuck if, you, Jeremiah. If it's not appropriate for, oh, he's coming in hot with a with a photo. He's too. just sending us photos of nymphs. 
I love it. I can see a hand. That's all I see. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, the one thing, though, with the brushes is you have to brush the brushes. Um, a lot of hair gets trapped in there. You want it nice and tight or nice and fluffed up. Do you know how to fix these? Jeez. Just no, 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 no. Somebody asked if it would work for redfish. Anything would work for redfish if they see it and you're in Louisiana, they're going to eat it. Florida, I hear they're more picky. Texas, I don't know. I've never been there. But if you're in Louisiana, um, they're going to eat pretty much anything if you don't throw it on their tail. And even if you throw it on their tail and they start, they spook and they swim away, if you get another cast in front of it, a lot of times <laughs> they'll turn and they eat it. Try again. Yeah. The thread is uh, Vivas GSP. What is that, 100? Who asked? I don't know, somebody. I don't fucking know. Scott did. Is that 100 or? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's cool. It's kind of flat, so sometimes if you, if you spin the bobbin that way, it'll yeah. put the edge on it. The other thing that I like with this is uh, when you're tying in the flash, um, you can get three good wraps, and then you can kind of massage it around like deer hair because the GSP is kind of slippery that way. Yeah, I get uh, my you thumb get a, on there and just... Yeah, you just... Yep. And it spreads it out really nicely without having to be... Uh, super precise. It was nice. Okay. All right. Um, cool. You're done. So after that, you got your shoulders, so now you do your flash. Uh, this is kind of the fun part where... Fucker. Oh, yeah. Uh, we kind of come back to the spoon fishing, per se. Oh, I don't think I covered that yet on this one. What's that? The whole, like, the spoon port, like Bill Herzog, yada, yada, yada. yada. All right. We're live. Do that I, yeah, it only lasts 13 minutes. All to get, That's what she said, Ryan. Hey, there, I got one in. Before it got too hot. I got one in, so Anyways, two more in there for you. GoPro already died so, once. That's good. 1080, and it's not hot in here, obviously. I'm dressed Flies up. Flies like barely. Uh, I guess it's in there. It's, that's just the preview window. It's a widescreen. Have you not used one of these before? I don't. You're the I, IT I, guy. No, I don't use GoPros. I can't afford a GoPro. Now you can't. I'm on that fucking... Uh, not much comes money. comes to GoPro phone, thing. yeah. Yeah. It's Please, for $9.99, you can help guys in need. Yeah, guy in need. <laughs> um, I made it 1080, 24 frames. It has full battery. I don't know if it's overheating. It's got it, but it doesn't feel hot. Well, it's a little warm, but not like super hot. But I mean, it's a fucking extreme sport thing. Like what, you can only use it in the, in the North Pole? Or Clearly, something? we are too extreme for this. We're too extreme Way for too GoPro, extreme. sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, I thought it was kind of a fun intersection between like, oh, Scott Howell's doing a prom dress, like it's a high water event, so your waters are brown or dirty or colored, flashy shit, fish as well through, for that, can fish well for that, my words suck. Uh, and then, um, hey, FYI, you're only 14 minutes in. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, you have 46 more minutes. Damn, this. I gotta talk slower. Yeah, or just like, you know, accurately <sighs> or correct or... Any of those things. Anyways, um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do the prom dress with an intersection of um, Bill Herzog spoon fishing. I was reading Bill Herzog's book and then had a chat with him uh, later on about like the spoons he uses. GoPro just died again because it's a piece of shit. We're not turning it back on anymore. It's done. Or it's no. dead. What? What's it, it? It's, it's still on. It's the previews off because it's that's, got the button. That's fine. The, okay. Well, did you hear? Did you hear? Beep, no beep, beep. No beep. No beep. Beep free. Welcome to Sell Your Forty. Yeah. How does GoPro work? How I fucking hate this. Thing. Does it work? If it goes off though, that's it. No, no horizontal thing. I, I'm no just YouTube. Gonna, the YouTube's not not going <laughs> to work. Okay. Yeah. Um. Kobe Tiny Sealer Fly shouldn't be actually shouldn't he catch Jesus. God. Isn't there like a block function? It's, it's, There's got to be a block yeah. function, like a like a. Yeah. I don't know. No, Anyways, so yeah, uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do the whole spoon thing. I asked him, you know, what kind of color spoons he's using when he goes steelhead fishing. Uh, he developed the BC Steel spoon. Uh, they're covered with actual silver and gold, like real gold. Real gold. I shit you not. Melt some of those down, man. And, uh, oh, it's just coated with 24 carat. 24 or, carat? I don't know how many carats there are. It's like fucking garden. I don't know how many carats there are on that shit. But uh, it's gold coated. And so he fishes silver and gold like 90% of the time. And then um, 
when it's low and clear or spooky conditions or what have you, he fishes copper. Did you say spooky? Spooky conditions. Okay, time out. We gotta, <laughs> gotta, we gotta cover some stuff. What is spooky? So Seth, another person asked, I mainly fish for redfish. Will this work? Yes. What? Again. Why is all this any redfish shit? Thing will work for redfish as long as you're in Louisiana. If you're somewhere else, I can't help you out. Mosquito yeah. Lagoon, you probably have to go down to 7X and, I don't know, 20, 22 size Prince Nymph. But, um, yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Jack, good chop. We covered that. Um, spooky. Low and clear. Somebody asked, oh, gold and or silver, is that clear. why? Because it's supposed to mimic a spoon. Yes. yes. Also to that. Where have they been? No one turns No one it, listens no one, to no it. One, well, because you have to redo it over and over and over again. This is why people don't tune into the intro thing. It's just, <clears> they want to hear me say it twice. So yeah, that's that's the idea. Um, I think that's all. Think that's like, oh, and then somebody asked about the the, the beats I've been making. Well, we don't need to cover that right now. I, I'll I'll cover that <laughs> another day. But yeah, that's my goal is to <laughs> get back into m music making. I don't know. I went to school for sound engineering um, for two years, and then like two months before I was going to graduate. Um, that's when I was like 28 or 29. Epiphany, I, huh? I went fly fishing for the first time. I got into fly fishing way late, so. So did I. Yeah. So last year, year before? Yeah, last year. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So I went fly fishing, saw a fish, eat a dry fly, dropped out of college the next day and bought it, and was guiding in Alaska the next year. Didn't, didn't waste any time. So anyways, I <clears throat> back then. Long story lot, long. Well, I'm trying to kill some time here for you. This is oh. for you. Oh, I totally paused out. Yeah, that's um, debatable. I take it back. Yeah, uh, take it back. <clears throat> yeah. So, no, I'm not done. A lot of people go to college for seven years. Yeah, what happened for a music degree? Uh, it was a two year program. I didn't start going to college till I was whatever twenty six or something like that. Uh, look, oh, I moved Lord. to Portland when I was twenty two. I'm not going to fucking college when I'm twenty two. Back you go in, to Reed College. Fuck no! I went to PCC. <laughs> I was broke as fuck. <clears throat> I should have gone. Side to college. note. Portland didn't used to be the dumpster fire that it is now. In 2001 or whatever, when I moved here, it was the best fucking city on the planet. I worked three days a week. I lived in the Northwest on like 21st. Everybody was riding bikes. It was cheap. What it, was your rent? My rent for a two bedroom, like large 500? townhouse was uh, 700 between two two guys. So 350 each. Yeah. Everything was cheap. Alcohol, food. Everybody rode bikes. No one was over 30. And we just raged and partied our asses off for like... Your eight, mom just eight, said eight. they safely got home. Oh, good. Yeah. Good Thanks, for Janie. I'm glad. Yeah. Partied our asses off for like seven or eight years. And then I was like, I should probably do something different. Anyways, so that's why I went to school and then I dropped out. So hey. no big deal. But back then, not really embarrassing because I did really like it, but not everybody's... <laughs> Me and my friends were really into drum and bass. Loved it. So there yeah, it is. Yeah, I definitely went to some raves. Aggressive drum yeah. and bass. I took ecstasy once. I saw this is a great story. I'm not going to tell the whole thing here, but um, long story short, again, took ecstasy. Was having a great time. Um, saw a bunch of people rolling in this creek, and I was like, "That's weird." So I followed the creek. Is like they rolling? Yeah, like, like rolling, like, rolling. Like, like, well, yeah, the, both. Both. Okay. Yeah, you and the puns. Okay. Sorry, man. It's my drug. <sighs> the pun is the drug? Yes. And <laughs> so they're, they're playing on this creek. I was like, what the fuck? So investigate, right? So I'm like following the creek up and it dead ends at like this wall. I'm like, what the hell? And I look down and it's a bunch of like... Salmon. Um, no, porta potties like falling over. I'm like, what's this? Oh, God. I still didn't get it. So I'm like, whatever. This is going. These go over the creek? So I like walk around to the other side. No creek. The porta potties are the source, the headwaters. Are, so these kids were just rolling around and shit. And that's the last time I ever did hard drugs. And the only time. Um, mm. What, you think mushrooms are hard drugs? No. Yeah, I never did anything they else. They were great. But yeah, gross. So anyways, <clears throat> love drum and bass. Time. So I like I like all the you know drums and, and the bass, obviously drum and bass, breaks and all that stuff. So anyways, we went to a bunch of shows and we used to DJ and we used to produce music and, and it was awesome. So now... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I fucking boring you? I will fucking come oh, over and punch you in your coolly. face. Jesus. Fucking come into my house and yawn. Anyways, he got an MPD. MPC. <laughs> no, I got the Ableton Push 2, and I got Ableton Live back on, and I got a little studio upstairs, and so I'm just fucking around making some shit. Just making music, maybe a little hip-hop. Put that over bass. your fly tying videos like Jason does, but just loud enough that you can't hear you talking. No, I don't want to do that. But... 
yeah, I like making music, so that's what I'm doing in between, in between, in between guiding in between. Um, and time flies this year because I can get pigeonholed like I have for the last 14 years where all I do is scout, tie flies, fly fish, and guide. And I just got to branch out a little bit. I'm just, I'm, I'm wigging out. I'm getting no weird. Hitting, my, huh? my entire basement is fucking out of control. It looks like a fly shop. I got too many boats. There's waders and shit everywhere. It's great, but it's like, let's let's ease up a little bit. You're the fish guy. It's it's too much. Yeah. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm doing. Sly and Robbie, hope you know who they are. Sly? I don't I don't. Is this a drum bass group? I'm guessing so. I'm guessing so. We're lucky enough to befriend um, our buddy Will <clears throat> with Chase and Status, and so we used to hang out with him, and he would help us with some beats, and he was a great guy. And they're still killing it. They just came out with a new album. Fucking Christ. Okay. Sorry. Sorry Jesus. somebody was cool when they were younger. What were you doing when you were God, what is it? Suddenly VH1? Who fucking, fucking cares? Cheeseburg after cheeseburger she- after cheeseburger. I did cheeseburg. have two cheeseburgers before I got here. How'd you know that? I can smell it on your breath. <laughs> I stopped at Dairy Queen. And did you have a chocolate shake? No. No shake. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so back to what I was fucking saying. Um, before we got into fucking Beethoven's history of music. Um, oh, my girlfriend joined. Sweet. Wave. Um, <clears throat> fuck. I lost my train of thought. How about you talk about your horses that you got? I got two horses. I got two horses. Those uh, are cheap. Those are not cheap, actually. Uh, yeah, so, so spoons. Going from the six-figure salary. To no figure. To no figure, and you're like, two horses. Please, And stat. move into a yeah. house that's $1,000 more a month. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, decision-making is... My abacus adds up. It's, it's going it's good. The numbers positive. don't track, but... Um, what numbers? <laughs> no numbers, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's good. Anyways, uh, can we hear about the cheeseburger... Hi, Leaky. Oh, I think we're supposed to shout out David, Gabe, and Ethan. Happy birthday, Ethan. Oh, 723. We are getting there. Slide done. Why am I reading the comment? What the fuck you do here? Oh, reggae. They're the kings. Worked with whalers and everybody. Does. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, they made that new movie called Bob Marley Rise Up or something. I saw a preview last time. They're just going to ruin it. Yeah. It's who'd, they, like, who'd they cast? I, some guy that actually sounds like him and oh, kind of looks like he, him. Okay. That, yeah. that would be the important part if you're doing a movie is like, hope it looks like him. Yeah. I think, fun fact, you know, Bob Marley was like, you know, this <laughs> spiritual, you know, whatever, Rastafarian guy. And then he got toe cancer from... The soccer ball. Yeah. and then No, he, he didn't get toe cancer. He got an infection. And then he wouldn't go to the doctor and he died from that. Rastaman. He fit, his foot be looking mad iry. I'm sorry. Anyways, I wish I could take that back. Um, We're going to get... Yeah, so the prom dress and... uh, Eric, want to talk about decisions. Mustache, that's all. Do you think he should grow one? (laughs) No. She's questioning your decisions. Because I grew a mustache? Yeah, the big duster. God, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Way in. Should I shave this thing? Because... Uh, Colby's girlfriend thinks that I should take a look at Colby and take a look at me. Do you think we would date the same person? No, that's a big negative. That's a big negative, and that's a chop leaky. I'm coming for your horses, bro. Come for his okay. horses. Come correct. Uh, anyways, Bill Herzog spoons. Herzog only fishes gold and silver and copper. Uh, so we're tying this fly. The prom dress, which is literally all flash, and I was like seeing it on. I saw it on the wall. And I was like, wow. Sony just said my mustache rules. <laughs> Sorry, Cooley. Yeah. Negative cha-ching. Um, anyways, so yeah, we're going to use gold. Was negative cha-ching meaning your bank account? Or was that just like <laughs> it's a, a It's something in my... She's Yeah, it's an inside joke. You wouldn't get it. Oh, okay. Chop. 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 You weren't there. <laughs> you weren't there. <laughs> we joked about it in the line for Dairy Queen. It was hilarious. You weren't there. Okay. Anyways, one big chunk. Hump. How many strands? <clears throat> One. This will take two, up the rest of the time. This is three. Great. You lose game. Yeah. Gotta start over. Quite a lot. Um actually I could probably do a little less. Let's go. Don't sneeze. Okay. It would go everywhere. Um one big hunk. Cut them off long. And because you're gonna tie them in the middle. And tie them in and fold them back. And you do one hunk on top, and then you're going to switch it over and do a hunk of either the same color or a different color. 
on the back. Fantastic. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, that's yeah, a, good that's a butt hole. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. That's... Ooh. Hmm. What you going to do here? We're Just gonna... force it? Just force it. Yeah. When in doubt, force it out. Mm-hmm. Cool. There we go. Like poop mantra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, squeeze and force it out. And that's it. We're done. <sighs> that's it. That's the top. Looks great. We're done. Extended Atlantic Salmon Fly. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you get in like three wraps, and then with the GSP, uh, since it's pretty uh, slick, you can get in there with your thumb and basically squeeze it around, get some better coverage. Boom. There you go. Amazing. Amazing. Man, you're running How out How does already. it happen? Oh, that's like it, though. That's done. What about the silver Well, stuff? I mean, you put in the silver and you're done. I could do what guinea, I guinea? guess. Yeah, maybe. What about we'll see. Cone? We may not do a cone. Oh. Okay. Why is all your stuff, like, sticky? Don't worry about it. It's... Renzetti said it was a non-stick vice. Okay, so. <laughs> I think it sticks. <clears throat> Anyways, pro tip. Hair clip on the fly uh, or on the tube. Keep your materials out of the way. Did you bring that? No, that's yours because yeah. I lost mine. I don't know where it was. Uh, long short story short, I found mine out front of uh, the Riverside on the Deschutes, and I was just like, "Oh, that's mine now." And then I took it home. I don't know anything it, about the Deschutes. It. What's the Riverside? Fuck off. I'm serious. Is that a hotel? No, it's like a it's like a bar and restaurant. It's right on the side of the river. Is it in Moppin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Moppin. Oh, sorry. You you don't you just go to the Rainbow, but no one goes to the Rainbow anymore. I don't go anywhere there. You don't go to the Deschutes. I go to Warm Springs, but yeah. that's not the Deschutes. Yeah. That's a magical place full it of is. wonderful people and lots of animals. <laughs> More finned animals than you can shake a stick at. Yeah. I prefer that area. I do like that area. It's a sweet area. Matt's an awesome person. Matt's whole family is terrific. He is. They're great people. So many. That's okay. Cool. All right. Guess what? We're going to go mind. silver. Whoppa. Cut him off long again. Time in the middle again. Fun fact of the day. If you know who Larry Dahlberg is, he invented Flashaboo. Wow. I recently learned that a couple years ago. Yeah, I uh, learned that when Willen said that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Took the tinsel off his Christmas tree and tied a fly and went and caught a bunch of fish and was like, we should sell this shit. And, he and then did. he did. <clears throat> what a great story. That's probably the fishiest person that's left on the planet that's still alive. I would agree. Although, do you remember Willen sharing that story about him uh, taking temperatures of muskies assholes? Yeah. That's that's dedication. He went. He one time. One time they floated. Uh, I forget what river, but he's like, row back up river, Chris, and he's like, why? He's like, I just saw a catfish spawning in a tire. <laughs> and he made, he made Will and Roe back up river and they sat there for like 20 minutes like throwing flies and different stuff he's like fuck it and he just got a little like pig and jig just flipped it in that tire <laughs> and it was like a nice big fat catfish and he's like okay now we can go down river I was like that guy's yeah he's devoted the boss he's the shit yeah yep 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 uh, last but not least so guinea. guinea favorite all around yeah. spay rod for steelhead you don't want to hear my answer so Colby Favorite, but uh, see, that's what I don't like is the all around. Like, yeah, clearly it's probably going to be a seven weight. Oh, I thought they but, meant uh, like um, spay rod for steelhead. I thought he meant like brand. Loomis. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously. But yeah, seven weight, 13 foot. It's like that's the, your the 590 of trout fishing for yeah. a steelhead. It does everything. You can catch summer steelhead. It doesn't feel too heavy. You catch winners. Doesn't feel too, uh, or it's not too light. People are like, I like an eight weight. I mean, use whatever you want. I caught a well, bunch of kings in Alaska on that thirteen foot seven weight. He said all around, so that's why it's seven. But if he was like, "What's your favorite spear rod for summer steelhead or winter steelhead?" Then you can kind of get more specialized, like eight you weights can. and six weights and what have you. I have never fished an eight weight that I like. Uh, those NRX rods, are, I like. The I like eighty one thirty three, and then I have the eighty one uh, ten. That thing's. I heard the 8110's actually thing pretty good. It's is fucking stout. Yeah. That thing is fucking stout. So, yeah. In the Both winter, I use 8 weights. Sage. Long seven weight. weight. Long 8 weight and a short 8 weight. And then in the summer, a 6 weight. Yeah. I don't like the Sage X. I know clients can cast it a, a country mile. It's just so fucking fast. It's like a broomstick. So, um, I don't cast that way. I don't use line speed. You hear that a lot. I, I don't use line speed. Um, 
I let the Skagit do the work and I let it sit on the water for a couple seconds and I go real slow and peel it off like a Band-Aid stuck to my hand and, and let it fly. So <clears throat> Loomis Asquith, I mean, it's a mortgage payment, but yeah, that shit does stuff that... Don't, um, don't break it. Yeah, don't yeah. break it. Because you're will, looking at another payment. Yeah, it's, it's expensive to repair, but I've never broke one. I use them all the time. I know people have, but it's usually from stepping on them. Fuck, Jack is still here throwing out shitty hot takes. If it ain't green, it won't work. Winston 7133, eight weight sucks ass. Okay, well, that's kind of... Says against the guy who just, fishes once a year. Well, he just went against what he said. The Winston Air is nice. Sylvie designed that pretty much. I'm, I was going to say help design it, but basically designed it. The 6133 is sweet. That, yes. That's a very nice summer steelhead rod. That's well, probably if I... Long six is sick. Yeah, if I was to own a six weight, which I don't, I would I would fish that one. Um, the NRX Plus 6150, um, or uh, sorry. Six, what? <laughs> <laughs> 6126 uh, is pretty nice too. But if I got to be honest, I'd keep the Winston's a little better. Yeah. I wish more companies did like niche rods, like longer sixes. I think that would be really fun. But the market's not there and the fish are not there. I would so. love a 14 foot seven weight. Yeah. I mean, I would. That would be fucking fun. I mean, the thing would launch. The thing would be fucking fun. Long line. Yeah. Good like time. Mid belly, like that Timmy's Bridge. The bridge. The is, tributary. Oh, fuck. The thing would Things launch. fun as fuck. Yeah. Anyways, uh, tie your guinea in by the tip. Um, I have the, you know, what is this? Fish Hunter Large Dot Guinea in white UV. I think the UV is full of shit, though. I hate when they just I throw think UV. Yeah, like. Not really they, showing up. They put UV on fly tying products like they put organic on fucking cereal. I mean, that's. That just doesn't that's pop. UV. Well, I mean. I want it to, like, pop, pop. It's not, it's not glow in the dark. No, clear, clearly it's not. I would have said glow in the dark. Twine. Ha! I guess that's you, like, you had to charge it, I take it. No, it just like came back to life. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, I got a friend that is a dental hygienist, and uh, she saw one of these live videos, and she's like, you're staring at that UV light? I was like, whatever, I'm just gluing it. She's like, no, that's like really bad for your eyes. Like when they use the UV light, they have like... Full on like Probably, welding mask yeah, shit. Uh, PPE? Is that what they call it? I don't know. I don't know. Personal protection. protection energy, equipment. Energy. Personal protective <laughs> energy. Yes, crystals. Everybody should have known that from COVID. Uh, somebody asked, Eric, are you throwing the five or seven hatch with the seven weight spade? The five's too small. The seven mid arbor will work. It's eh, uh, still too small. No, I have one on my ask with. I, I, I like a heavy rear end. Oh, I bet you do. Hey, oh. um, I used to use the nine plus quite a bit, and it is it's nice. Thirteen footer, but I kind of think I prefer the the seven weight because uh, really? it's it's so fucking light. The seven plus, the, yeah, the seven plus because I don't need help dropping my hand. That the heavier reel it does that, but it's mainly like people are like, oh, it's got to bounce the rod, it's got to bounce the rod. I don't give a fuck about that. I hold my rod in a weird way that I don't just let it hang and balance. I, I hold it where I'm kind of pinching the line a little bit. And then I also touch the running line so I could I could feel that fly if you know if a leaf hits it or something. But sure. if you're really into that balance shit, um, the nine plus is gonna balance it better. I don't know. If I'm doing air quotes. It I will get, balance. Doing a lot of movement. I don't know. If, over I don't there. think I, I know what air quotes are. Corner of my eye. I'm just seeing fucking just, air signals just, here. All oh, these. Um, so the nine plus would be better, but. I mean, it's going to save you a couple hundred bucks to get the 7 Plus. And that Jolly Roger only comes in the 7 Plus. And it's non-ported, so it weighs it's a little bit more. Yeah, it does have that solid, you know, so little... It looks fucking sick. Just a little little ad for Hatch in there, just... Yeah, well, they're worth it. They're good people. And their reels are the best on the planet, so if you want to drag. Do you ever fish the IMX Pro 71111? Uh, I did. Yes, that thing's awesome. It was awesome, but I fish big rivers. It can jack, but I just prefer a 13-foot rod. But it, that's a great coast rod. I mean, that thing is money. Um, or the Kalama, or even the Calitz. It's getting a little big, but some of those coastal rivers, I don't know which ones because I'm a guide the coast or fish the coast. But... Um, I guess maybe North Fork, Nahalem, and whatever. I'll make up a, a couple. Am I getting that, small ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're okay. good. Um, that's why I like that 8110. Um, that thing you could throw it fucking anywhere. 
it it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun. Look at that. Not too bad. Look at that. Um, yeah, I put a uh, Pro Sport. Pro Sport Fisher. Yes. Uh, Conehead Gahold on that one. And then do the lighter around here. What are you looking at that one right there? I said there it, it is. Too. Oh, look at you. I'd say Pro Tube, but yeah. Pro Sport Fisher, I guess it's the actual name. Yeah, I want people to be able to search and find it. Oh, um, all of these products that I am using tonight are on our shop on the site. I can go over uh, the ingredients. Ingredients. You like that? A little recipe and ingredients? <laughs> Put some salt and pepper. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What? Are you doing? what? You're what? just going to melt it without the fucking tube adapter sticking out the front? You like using the tube adapter sticking out like that, huh? Well, then it won't close. It well, melts back. Had that issue. Yeah. And then it, then when it, there you go. And then when it dries, it keeps the hole open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're like, dude, it's like I put like fucking sugar well, in the tomato you, paste or something. If it's outside the tube adapter and you melt this, it's going to melt it close. You know, plastic works, right? See. Do you? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, a couple wraps of guinea. Do not do more than like two wraps. It's not supposed to be anything crazy. Um, was it a feather or something? Yeah, I thought it was some type of bug. And uh, yeah, cap it off with a little tube or a uh, cone head. She long. She long. Um, and so what I would do is you want, um, you're going to want to cut it. And what I do is <clears throat> you don't want everything one length. Otherwise, you uh, they'll all kind of stick together, and they won't do a whole lot of moving. You do want a lot of moving, so um, a, so I stagger them. A pair of scissors I don't have is oh, yeah the, the ser shears or whatever. serrated ones or whatever. And then I learned from my recent haircut, everybody, that <laughs> if you yeah that's right, if you cut vertically mm -hmm. like this, it won't like it doesn't. You're never gonna get a straight across yeah. cut. Yeah. So I do I do this. Yeah. Um, you didn't see me at the shop doing that today? You no. weren't paying attention. I, the only thing I didn't, the only reason I haven't done it here is because it's going to make a fucking mess. Oh, and my basement's so clean. There's no feathers it's anywhere around cleaner here. Cleaner than mine. That's not surprising. But anyways, when you go to cut it, um, pull it down and then cut with your scissors going up and diagonally. Um, and that kind of gives us that sheer look. Sheer? I don't know. Offset? I don't fucking know. None of those are Jamaican things. Um, but they all won't be the same length, and so that will uh, let them all kind of move around a bit. And then you can actually trim this down uh, if it depends on how like how long you like your stinger hook to sit back there. Um, <clears throat> that would be the only thing. But yeah, it comes off the vise pretty long. You cut it down, and you're good to go. And that's it. I would tie you know these in gold and silver. And silver and gold. Silver and gold. That's a great option. Mm -hmm. uh, all silver, or you could do all copper. Fuck, it's only seven thirty nine. Yeah. So I'm gonna <sighs> go upstairs and just chill out. Looks like you're gonna be here for a while. I'll be here for a while. I got another drink. Mm, yeah. I'm all out. <sighs> Opst right there. What's up, guys? Um, GoPro still going strong. I literally messaged them not hours ago. Here we are. Yeah, people are requesting the um, Some, the running line. Yeah, laser line laser or line. the your oval line, and we are going to carry both. <clears throat> we got a lot of running lines at the shop. A lot of different think, running lines. I think we got them all. Although, whoever did the um, airflow order fucked up because they should have got some of that airflow impact, the green stuff. That stuff's good, too. The yeah. SA stuff, the orange, whatever, that 33 pound, that stuff's good stuff. The only stuff that sucks ass is real slick shooter i'm sorry to whoever makes that or whatever it's not yeah. good what are you rocking 30 pound 32 30 pound pounds. i think it's uh, essays is 32 32 or the chartreuse the 44 it shoots really good too. Right. and it doesn't seem to kink as much don't do 50 don't do 50 it's fucking weird in the um <clears throat> but that airflow i think they're still calling it the impact that kind of dark chartreuse that's a that's a good one too it doesn't hold a lot of memory there's some newer shit out now, too. And then Veravoss is doing it again. I don't like Veravoss. I know everybody likes it. Maybe it's because everybody it loves it so much that they keep it on for like 10 years. And that's the ones I cast. And it's just, <laughs> just like, fucking. Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's so awesome. But it's getting a little old. I'm like, oh, how long have you had it? And they're, they're like, like, oh, like six years. Yeah. You're like, it's 30 bucks. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know what Veravoss is going for. Right Whatever now, but it like is. Any, it, it. It's, it's a consumable. Yeah. Um, you know, change it out once a season. It's not that bad. 
Where's my? Oh, she's oh, that's cool. Behind she's me. chilling. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. So that's it. Well, how are we doing on questions? You're doing a great job covering those. Oh yeah. Well, they're now now they're kind of coming in. Somebody said I've been using the SA44 Green. It's been shooting great. Yeah. yeah. That's, I got one on one rod, and I got the 32 or whatever the the orange stuff on the other one. So I need to. I'll let you handle I need that to one. Retie the mono shooting loop every <laughs> once in a while. Does it wear out? Yeah. I mean, you read. You're gonna. So I, I'm. I'm. Just, I'm guessing he's talking about the loop where the head goes on. Yeah. That you, like if that's wearing out, replace your running line because I I yeah. don't do that unless maybe I don't know just if cut you're seeing feet it off or something. You're seeing it nicked or something like that. Um, or if you don't, you know, I think it's like 110 feet or 27 yards. The, like that, yeah. the running line if you're not throwing it 140 feet every time i'm guessing you could probably take that first 30 <laughs> feet off and cut it and then you've got whatever that is 80 math is hard i'm not a- you 80 on this feet one. left of running line you're so on your own. plus your head that's still 100 foot cast so but it's also like the essay stuff is 16 bucks so i mean come in the shop and we'll just spin it up there for you Let's take this GoPro up the beat station. We've got oh, 20 minutes it. left to hear some bangers. <laughs> I only have one one break right now that I worked on, but I sent it to my buddy and he's like, It's, it's aggressive. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty aggressive. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, my buddy that I used to produce music with is coming over Sunday and we're going to do a, a full night owl session because uh, none of us have to work on Sunday. So there we're just going to stay up and mess around with that MIDI controller and nerd out and drink a bunch of coffee and get weird with it. Yeah. Anyone have any other questions on like fishing? Oh, somebody said got the 888 Loomis for carp as you recommended. You're going to be Ooh. real happy. Yeah. Uh, some of the Loomis rods are some of the best for carp fishing. I know a lot of people have their favorite rod out there for doing it. <clears throat> I just see a lot of people casting. Here's the setup. Either the um, NRX Plus 8 weight salt, the IMX Pro V2. Uh-huh. Um, not the salt, just the, the normal one. But the salt one's fine, because you can use it for obviously salt fishing, redfish, bonefish, all that stuff. It's just a little faster. The cool thing about those rods is, or any rod, is when you dump that Scientific Angler's bass taper on there, it's oh, two sizes two, loaded, and the taper's short as fuck. Well, you're so, not making long casts either. Super long casts. You want to tell them about, want to tell them about the just one. Just you're gonna just, just sigh just, again? Just, just want two cheeseburgers, huh? Oh, they were little. I, they were just little ones. Yeah. Sliders? Derek Lee doesn't do sliders. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna try to Little burger. Gonna... Little Big Burger. When's the last time you went to Little Big Burger? That shit's pretty good. That shit's fucking way go. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say gas and I was gonna be like, don't do that. Straight gas. Yeah, okay. Smash. Um just reel it onto another reel and boom, you have fresh line again. That's a great tip. Boom, roasted. Um EDM dubstep. I didn't get into the dubstep. I like the faster stuff, but I like the drum and bass. But I like some dubstep. But I like I like EDM. I like a lot of different music. But um, Do you whatever. Go to Skrillex space. No, Skrillex is a lot of like. There's a lot of well, e- like. Uh, well, 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 a lot of like yelling vocals and stuff. I'm like, eh. Um, um, I didn't go through that phase. Clute was pretty good. I like that jungly shit. Anyways, I'm getting out of there. Jungly shit. It's good, man. It's the good jungle. time. It's good time. Mm. Uh, so yeah, gonna be doing that. Uh, yeah, so anyways, carp stuff, make your leader short. <laughs> if you're fishing deeper than like five feet of water, you're, you're never going to get them. Your fly's never going to sink fast enough before they see it or spook or something. <clears throat> so an easy way, I, I tie a lot of my own, but you can just get like a, get the salt water, the SA salt water, um, 12 pound, nine foot, and cut it back about two feet. So it's like six, it terminates at 16 pounds. They're not leader shy for whatever reason, how spooky they are. That stuff's pretty invisible too. So you got like a seven foot leader of, of 16 pound. And I mean, I, I I have three rods when I go carp fishing, so I'd never have to cut that leader back. I have three specific flies that I like, depending on water clarity and depth and how spooky they are or what the sun's doing. So I just pull up on a spot and we just grab a different rod. but. Um, yeah, the, the IMX Pro original 8 foot 10 inch um, streamer rod, it's, it's kind of medium action. If you ever find the one piece. Yeah, I was going to say, you ever fish that? Yeah, I got two of them. They're sick as fuck. Well, I guess you so. can't travel with them and you got to have a rod carrier on your rig, oh. but it's like you can reef on that rod and you, you make an eye contact with me. <laughs> 
Ah! Burgers. You're eating burgers. Burgers. Um, that one piece is. Yeah, because that's the hardest part is turning those fish because they're just really strong and big. So that works good. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think like a, a really inexpensive one that you can fish. Predator? I haven't fished a predator, but Jeff fishes those for redfish. It works for that. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Not break. But it's just that line turns it over. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's it. This is it. Uh, 15 more minutes. Yeah, so the two people booked the last two Tiger Musky days I have this year in May and June. I got one day open, I think. I might have a Sunday open in there somewhere too, but I don't think so. So. <clears throat> If you want to fish tiger muskie this year, get at me. You can catch them all summer. I just like to get them when they're really aggressive and they haven't seen flies all year. So, Also bass next year. Bass, Fucking yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah, everybody's got some open dates for that. I, I think I've got, between the season, I think I've got like maybe six or seven days still open for smallies. And then carp, I have one day open. And it's the 4th of July, because everybody's like, I'd rather barbecue and fucking blow my dick off with fireworks. And it's like, great. I fucking hate the 4th of July. How there, I boats, said it. How many boats do you think are going to be on the water on 4th of July? They're not on the water. They're all on the islands. Just being like, <laughs> woo, America, or whatever the fuck they're How doing. How many tents? Lots of tents. But being on the water, there's really nobody out there. Um, so if you don't want to do the barbecue fucking shit or whatever... That's the only day. Um, and obviously, it's always sold out because I give my guys first right of refusal and, and everybody Re seems to rebook the following year. So it's it's hard it's hard to get in there. Luckily, global warming, whether you believe in it or not, like however it's caused, it's happening. So our summers are probably gonna get longer. So that may extend out, you know, a week more into June or sometimes we have a really warm September and, and we can guide through September, but the river starts to get low and we they kind of get a little spooky, but we, we can still get it done. But fuck, man, well, that July said. and August, great. What do you guys think about echo spay rods or what is the best spay rod bang for your buck? Um, the echo full spay. Sure. For sure. I mean, the echo full spay by far is the best bang for your buck. It's like a discount ask with. It does a lot that the ask with does. Um, it won't throw it as far. It won't throw it as easy, but it is like a really good rod and it's less than 600 bucks. I think it's 595. Yeah. Um, I, I would say just buy the best rod at the, at the most of your budget can allow. Um, I don't know, I like knowing that I'm using quality gear. Mm -hmm. Echo rods are great, the warranty program's great. Yeah, if you, local guys. If you break it, it's not like a lot of money. I think it's like for the spay rods, like fifty bucks. Yeah. The, the Buell Platinum yeah. Two, the thirteen two seven one, I think. It's pretty slick too. That's maybe the only Buell rod that I like, spay rod. <clears throat> so, but it's a little more. It's like six ninety five. I, I don't think yeah. it's worth it. It looks a little better. The real seat's nicer and shit. But fuck that. Like we're talking about <laughs> how it fishes. <laughs> we look stupid. We're in waders and stuff. People are like, well, look at the real seat. You look like a dumbass. Don't worry. I look like a dumbass. Everybody but the does. componentry is so nice. Yeah, but they got these guides. Whatever. Does it make it throw <laughs> further? No. But if you want to spend the money on it, go for it. But yeah, that Echo Full Space badass. Um, <clears throat> yeah, somebody needs to jump on that open spot. For sure. Um, like I said, it's. I think it's the open musky date is, I think, like June... 18th i think june 17th or 18th everything else sold out carp july 4th that's it and then um yeah going forward i am busy, busy, gonna busy. buy a uh, a bass boat full sparkle pony yeah because i just gotta keep buying boats and i'm putting four, a four boats. ton of time in in the next year to learn um the columbia for smallmouth because they're giant and I want to catch a lot of big. Just throw all packs. those ideas out there. Well, yeah, no one's going to do it. I did see your text go by, Cam. Good on you. Well, we're going to have the wow. OPST in the shop. I don't know. I saw the email where they replied. So, yeah, uh, I was filling it out today. By next week or whatever, it'll be in the shop. Airflow will probably be in there in two weeks. SA is already in there. Yep. Uh, SA will show up. We got more running line Tuesday or Wednesday. Cool. That's when the 
the 30 and the 40 show back up. Yeah, we got a couple of really cool lines for uh, still water fishing next year. I don't oh, do it. Parabolics, I saw that. <clears throat> Parabolics are sick, so I had to look that word up. But basically, <laughs> from your rod tip, the sink tip goes down, and then it actually comes back up. So as you're stripping it through the lakes, when you strip it, it, it it's bringing it down, but it's it's not going to be in the weeds the whole time. So it's in the strike zone longer. Kind of a kind of it a game changer. A very interesting action on it. Yeah, so kind of a little game changer for still water fishing. If you guys fish a lot of lakes, you know when it, it ice out comes in late May through early July when it's really prime and. You want to take whatever, if you have kids or friends that aren't good at fishing or want to get into it, that's a great line that you just kick around on a belly boat or a raft or a canoe and, and you'll fuck them up on just little woolly boogers. Garmin lives. Yeah. Well, Cam, time for <clears throat> two lives goes. Yeah. Well, Cam, wow. yeah. I mean, sign up for the musky trip because um, although I like all the clients the same, I don't wait. It's just like DM me or whatever. Or maybe I just keep it open and I actually get to fish for tiger muskie once in prime time because i only got to fish it one day last Dang. year because my guys had to go to a baseball game gabe and david i'm looking at you and i literally dropped them off at 2:30, drove across the lake and caught one in 10 minutes and then sent them the video because i'm like that petty real petty <clears throat> real real petty so God, eight minutes of my life i mean we just end it right now i don't think anyone's like us i don't i mean i think we did it we did do the thing we did the thing we only got one i'm fine with that look at that yeah we run out of ideas to tie flies now because we're just in winter mode and i only tie or i only fish really two flies i fish the tail light which is a rabbit tube obviously rabbit strip which we've covered which we did last week or the week, think, week before yeah and i fish uh kind of doctored up marabou tube that's it different 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 weights not super heavy it's more like unweighted and lightly weighted keep it simple don't fucking confuse yeah. yourself and worry about the right fly i'd worry more about the right time the right water i mean i'll gladly tie bass flies and musky flies to gear up for season so Maybe give you guys a little preview of what we're going to be tying on the um, Fly Tying Expo in March, because we are going to be in Albany, like I said. Myself, Colby, and Gabe tying a bunch of leggy boys, fleeing craze. These are all badass, articulated, super rubbery swim bait flies that crush in the spring when the water's high and dirty. I'm going to tie some carp flies, secrets out, and probably a couple <laughs> musky flies. Again, I'm not going to tie the shit that I use every day, but I'm going to tie the stuff that I used like three years ago. But it still works. Like we caught, we caught musky. We just didn't catch as many as the new ones. Mm. But that's a tightly guarded secret, and I'm not bullshit because I don't want to show those. Um, Oh, what did Jack say? Uh, <clears throat> thought for high water, steelhead fishing, and any tips for the sandy tomorrow? Somebody else said, high water, super easy. Inside. Yeah, they're all inside. They're like the first whatever, however however far the closest seam is, whether it's t eight feet out or 20 feet out, they're going to be all inside. They're, they don't want to be in the fast water, so lighten your tips up, T8, enlarge your flies, and make sure they're unweighted and cover the fuck out of water. It, they're really aggressive that time. Don't trout set. Any tips <laughs> for the sandy tomorrow? It's probably going to be crowded, so I'd get there hella early. That's for sure. Yep. Um, and again, cover water. Don't like. Don't cast twice the same spot. When people are like, "How far should I step in between steps? How clear is it? If there's a foot of visibility, I'm probably only taking one step. I hate that, but I will be like militant about that. In clear water. I probably miss fish, but I, I mow through shit. I'll take five, six, seven steps until I hit the bucket. Then I'll slow down to just like maybe four, but I, I move a lot. I, my whole uh, basis is that I, I don't want the fish that's like, I might pluck, pluck. I want the, the fish screamer, that's, yeah. that's going to move at least a couple feet for that fly. Not all of them are, but that's where I'm at in my steel heading. Step into the water and keep going until your feet disappear. And from that distance from your foot to wherever you are in the water, that's about as far as you should be walking stepping for swing but yeah uh, i can almost guarantee there's a couple fish in the sandy tomorrow it's it's early yep. so you know it's not i mean it's like you know the 10th of december 8th of december whatever it is you know you could get there i would either get there early or, or it looks like the river's gonna bump up at like five but it's dark by then so go at like 
2 p.m. Well, evening sesh. Like, when everybody's gone and, you know, maybe the water's a little clear, maybe it's a little bit more drop, maybe they start holding in there. One or the other. Um, but somebody will probably catch a fish tomorrow. I won't, because uh, I'll be at the shop. Womp womp. Anyways, we did it. Uh, there's four minutes left, but I just I don't, good. Want, don't care. Yeah, finish the drink. Yeah. Maybe another dart. Yeah, yeah. And we're uh, really doing it. I got my shit and probably go by Dairy Queen, a couple more burgers. A couple more burgers. A couple more burgers to go. Of, feels nice and right. Maybe those fries. Are their fries good? Oh, fuck Dairy yeah. Queen's fries? I'm not a big fry. I mean, like, little big burgers, truffle fries. Those yeah, things. I, I don't quite Ooh. like those. I mean, I'll eat them, but they're not like soggy at Dairy Queen. They're, they've got crunch to them. Um, I like soggy fries. Oh, then go to Mike's. Like, yeah, oh, no, trust me. Yeah, that's what I had last week. It's like mashed potatoes. Yeah, and yeah, fry yeah. Form. The liquid form. <clears throat> liquid Anyways, form. if you guys uh, don't tell us what to tie via DM next week, I'm, I'm tying a musky fly. I just. Yes, yeah, or, send, or send a bass some fly. recommendations in. Fucking anything. Um, Makes it easier. Probably a guide musky fly, meaning something that I can tie within an hour. And I don't care if you guys tie and fish. If they work, they're fine. Um, not doing a GP. Not doing a GP. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> I'm, I'm not. Uh, yeah. So throw in your recommendations. Let us know what you'd like to see. One of us will do it, or none of us will do it. Yep. Uh, if you come in the shop, sign up for the newsletter. Bunch of classes coming up late classes, bass fly tying classes, musky fly tying classes, winter steelhead fly tying classes. To recap again, entomology classes coming up too. Entomology class classes late classes and yeah, obviously the class too Got yeah line. these guys are couple, doing a couple together. trout spay classes um and then in february uh fly fishing film tour february 17th it's a saturday pre-funking at the shop three to five we're providing a bunch of food bring your own beer couple contests we're gonna give some shit away and we're all mobbing down there to bear paw pre-funking going to the show it should be good we're giving away a, a swift cast um a river smith swift cast rod holder um so well we're not but riversmith is so <laughs> we'll, we'll be presenting that uh at the show so that should be pretty cool um yeah that's it we out good to see you hagan later buddy namaste i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go oh i forgot it doesn't have the i wonder why this